so before we begin I would just like to say that I have sent all this information to the investigation team who are running uh, the Madeleine McCann investigation. I've also sent it to the Swedish police department in Bergslagen and I've also sent it to the NFC which is a Swedish National Forensic Centre and I've also sent it to um, a, couple, um, a Swedish newspaper and I've also sent uh, this information to the Sun newspaper as well. I decided to do this video because the the Madeleine McCann case came up in the in the media again. Yeah, so the, the main suspect, Christian Bruckner, um, he's a German man, so he is, is a suspect in the, in the Madeleine McCann case at the moment. So, okay, so through us researching his Facebook account, we think we may have come across something that's very, very important and potentially relevant in an unsolved murder. So this first picture here is, is of a girl and this, as you can see, the girl is looking up towards this, this light and this is significant of, of a well, really. So you can see the, the, the kind of, um, the window, um, those are the kinds of toppings that, that you see on, on a well. She's looking up towards the light and this was posted three months after uh, Madeline disappeared. Um, so he had this as his, as his profile picture. The second strange post on, on his Instagram account was um, a picture of a frog. Frog in German is Frosch. So we can see here the, so I'll just repeat that. So the picture of the frog, um, so in German it's called Frosch. And Frosch is a German slang, slang term for a high school student. And this was posted on October the 1st, 2013. And when this pic was posted, Madeline would have been 10. And that's the age that they start school in, in Germany. Now, this is where it gets even, even more disturbing and, and upsetting. So this is the third picture. This um, is a picture of a Swedish lake. And on the 9th of July, 2013, but her body was found um, at Lake Avesta in central Sweden. And yeah, so this, this girl, she was snatched from the school gates. Okay, so she was snatched at the school gates, this girl, and her body was found, her five-year-old body was found in the lake. And he's posted, like four months later, this picture of, of this, this lake. Okay, and he's called it Swedish Winter Impression. And the interesting thing as well is, you can see here in the comments that, you know, everyone's commenting in German and he's choosing to reply in English. It's almost like he wants people to read it. You know, we can see the significance here of, of, of him disposing probably of his bodies in water. So, so I work as a psychic and there's a technique called remote viewing. Uh, remote viewing is uh, something that you know, the intelligence service often often use remote viewing. I, um, you know, meditated and, and asked for guidance through my guides, through who I use, um, and I, I asked, you know, where is, is, is Madeline's body? Um, is she alive? And it, um, I was shown um, a derelict piece of, um, you know, um, like deserted wasteland in, in Portugal, uh, there was a church nearby and it, it was it was underneath like whether it's like in a well or underneath a grate or something like that. So this this is what what came up from from my uh, remote viewing. So I would like to appeal to anyone in Sweden who knows about this little girl and um, I've posted the link down below if you know of how, how I can uh, get in touch with, with the people who, who originally led this investigation. I have messaged the local police department for that area closest to the lake. Okay, so yeah, please do watch this video again if there's any extra information that you'd like to add 
to, to the insights that I have and you have any extra information just, just let me know, that would be great. So I guess only time will tell but please do, uh, you know, spread the word, I want this to get into the right hands, you know, the hands of the people who, who are going to see justice for, for the people who need it the most. Okay, thank you. Amen.